Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Professor Xiao. The purpose of this video is to help you with a specific homework question. The data set in this video is a little special. It's simulated data, not an imported data. Let's look at the Jupyter Notebook. Based on the simulated data, this is the confusion matrix. Notice that the predicted labels are arranged as columns. The actual labels are arranged as rows. This layout is consistent with the format that I recommend to use in the lecture video as well as in the following videos. Make sure that you stick to these layouts. Here, I simulated the data based on the key values of the confusion matrix so that the confusion matrix will turn out to be exactly the same after the data is simulated. Note that I use a random seed 10 to shuffle the simulated data set. As for the imported packages, we only need a short list of these because we are only dealing with the data sets and the model evaluation metrics. All of the functions used here to calculate the model evaluation metrics come from the scikit-learn package.metrics submodule. The confusion matrix again. Now let's calculate the specific model evaluation metric. This video will demonstrate how to calculate PPV, positive predictive value, or precision, using manual as well as programming methods. As you recall, PPV is the ratio between true positive and the column sum of the positive predicted label column, which is the left column on the screen. So the manual calculation is like this. It's the ratio between true positive and the sum of all the positive predictions, the true positive as well as the false positive. Let's run this. Using programming, you can use the precision score function from scikit-learn.metrics, provide the two arguments, the same arguments that you use for all of the other metrics calculation showcased in other videos, you will get the PPV value. Let me print them side by side to make sure that they are the same. Yes, they are the same. You will notice that the precision score is not very high, 69.19%. This could mean bad or not so bad model performances depending on the case and depending on the relative severity of false positive versus false negative errors. This has to be evaluated in a specific context of the business problem or the problems in the specific scenario. In another video, I will talk about these model evaluation metrics and what they mean for the performance of a model in a very specific case. So be sure to watch that video. This concludes the demonstration of the calculation for PPV and be sure to watch my other videos on other concepts of the confusion matrix. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.